is so crazy, it's so beautiful, it's so vast, it's endless, it's just, it's just amazing. Uh, you should definitely go here if you can. This is so crazy, this is a reindeer herding area and you're not allowed to park or to stay here for any longer period of time so you can pass through this but have to move on there's like little parking spaces where you can just take a look and um, I already saw a lot of reindeers and some reindeer herds but um, I was unable to like photograph them while driving and not allowed being, uh, you know, um, off the road. So, yeah, that's still the Wildmarks wagon, and it's so crazy because it's it's so beautiful, and everybody else is like having a good time. People are stopping and having a break, and there's snow all around. Like here's the car and on the other side of the street there's just this huge field of snow and yeah it's, it's eight degrees so obviously it's cold but but it's okay i'm here without a jacket and um yeah so that's a snowball and let's see if i can no that one was short but we try again having another snowball no car coming and here we go ah! yes but that was just the roof i just want to hit the the driver's window gosh <laughs> i'm not so good at snowball throwing but yeah let's try I, I get the dog out she loves she freaking loves snow so maybe we can have it That. It's all snow here, little dog. <laughs> she loves snow so much. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful country? I would have never believed that we have something like this in Europe. Um, that I'd be able to get here. It's so crazy. All day, right? <laughs>
I just wanted to correct my glasses but I don't have glasses right now so we're sitting at a beautiful river and there are some waterfalls or whatever you call that all along and the doggo sits over here and the weather there is super nice we are super lucky with the weather and I got myself a bottle of glacial water from that river and it's so cold remember when I said that I've never experienced water so cold like the lake in the morning yeah I I have to correct myself this water is even colder I don't know how cold it is but I just washed my hands in there and put some water in my face and my hands are burning like crazy I don't know I don't know maybe it's even under zero but I don't think so but it's like melting water from the glaciers all around and the river is pretty high right now and yeah I, I guess if I, I trip and fall into that I, I wouldn't make it to the next stone it's just like you're, you're just like paralyzed when you fall in love. it's so unbelievably cold I don't know I, I I hope there's never ever someone falling into that river because it's, it's a tragedy there are rocks the river is flowing super fast and yeah I, I don't think you last very long um, so yeah take care when meeting around those rivers Now I won't make it even only uh, no I will, will only make it like five seconds less because I just drank cold water. It's like it's like from the freezer when you when you buy a bottle of water from the supermarket from the freezer. That's exactly like that, but it's uh, super clear. Just look at that. It couldn't be any any cleaner. So let's actually make some beautiful reflections in the bottle, I guess. So Lapland in a bottle. Oh damn it, I could really bite my butt because there's such a nice overnatting, uh, how's it called? Coral Grottan Rast Stuga and it has a little oven inside, there's a helicopter landed landing plots over there, it has a poop center, it has firewood, it has everything and there's a grotto next to it. I have no idea. Just tell me. I'm always scared of losing something or forgetting something. There's the waterfall and the coral grotton. And we will have a visit. And we just hiked in here four kilometers because it says coral stuga, uh, coral grotton. And uh, yeah, I wish we have taken our backpack with. The sleeping stuff and everything so yeah maybe we should just take it with us every time we do a hike because we have done it a few times now and there's always a beautiful beautiful windshield or hut or even a whole stuga up here and it's so beautiful and We've met two people coming uh, the other direction and that's all. So we have the place for us totally alone. And yeah, so do you see with some snow left? Oh my goodness. This can fly here. Oh my goodness, there's even a rainbow. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So 
I put you on hold for a second. All right, now we're back. These are some Indiana Jones vibes right now. It's uh, it's so cold. It's so steep and it's so loud. I just tripped. It's uh, still icy here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Put the camera to my uh, to my backpack. It's like an eagle shooter.
there's a whole tree in here. This can drive positive. Hey, what am I? This can come here. Come here. Ich mach dich mal lieber fest, ich habe Angst, dass du irgendwo abrutschst. Wenn, dann sterben wir beide. Put you on my backpack again. All right, come to give me the hope.
Let's go back to the rust stuga. Where I can dry my butt in the sun. My butt is so cold. And I just showered this morning and put on fresh undies. Oh no. I was wearing like the same undies for three days or something. And now I put new ones on and I trip. <laughs> it's so annoying. Ah. I wish we brought our food so we could have a nice campfire here. Ah. Ah. Wow, what an adventure. Ah. I'm all sweaty. It's, I, I, I read a book about cave exploration. It's a really good book. Um, it's, uh, it's about the race to the deepest, or it's called like something, the race to the bottom of the earth or something like that. I, I tried to find the title and put it in the, in the, uh, in the description. Um, it's about finding the deepest cave in the world. And they say it's, or they describe it really well where it's uh, dark, it's muddy, and it's loud. And I was so excited reading that book, but I also was super, um, I don't know. It was hard to imagine. I've, I've never been really underground. I've been to, a, uh, to an old uh, salt mine, an iron mine and stuff like that, but it's usually for the tourists. And so it has like pathways and it's clean and there's light and everything but that was maybe i don't know maybe 30 meters deep and maybe five to ten meters into the mountain and it was so dark there was this one spot where the sun was still shining but otherwise it was completely dark it was so dark and it was so loud and it was freezing cold and and this book they describe how they find the deepest cave in the world and they are crouching and rubbing through all this dirt and they are sleeping underground and they are go even go diving underground and it's so scary i i wouldn't have believed that it's so loud it's so freaking loud in there um i don't know if you even understand anything of what i said but yeah it's oh my god that's an adventure oh, it's such an adventure oh. Yeah, so unfortunately we don't have anything to eat. So maybe we can look at the stew guy if there's something something left. I've seen there's are some leftovers from other hikers. Uh, maybe there's a can of beans or something like that. And we can just make a make a fire here and eat something and then hike back because it's like I don't know, it's like six o'clock in the evening or something like that. But it's like it's um around it's it's light it's how do you say it's bright it's bright outside the whole night so yeah we don't we're not in a hurry and there's a helicopter plate landing side over there so yeah let's see okay so that's for the coral grotan exploration i hope you liked it i guess the dog really enjoy our stay here in lapland but she was really scared down in that cave <laughs> Yeah. yeah it's it's weird that like if you think about it it's if i slip somewhere deeper down i fall into that river and probably die it's it's so weird to be like on the on the edge of dying when you're doing stuff like that and it doesn't feel like that so i'm careful and i know that if i do something stupid i probably die but it's such a weird imagination to to see that you can actually die in there it's i don't know that's weird it's so weird yeah anyway so see you later have a good time and be careful when climbing down into caves it's so frustrating i 
that I didn't took our belongings with us because it's a four kilometer hike and we went here now we go back and then it's eight eight kilometers and I guess hiking back with our backpacks would be quite an ordeal so I don't think that we will do that but we have definitely to keep in mind that we take our belongings the next time we go on a hike or read the the children uh, the science more carefully because they usually say what you find there like a water an outhouse or whatever so yeah that's pretty annoying but i guess we wouldn't find another or we we won't find a better place to stay for the night uh, it's getting late I'm hungry and all that but yeah that's life right so yeah I took my my drawing stuff with me however here now here right now so but I'm not in the mood of drawing or I'm too excited to draw and I'm too hungry to draw so yeah I guess it's 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 kind of annoying to put our stuff together like every morning when we slept in the car or in the tent whoops or something like that so that's pretty annoying and one of the big pluses when we will have a uh, yes you know like a real camper in the future we have our bedding stuff in there like our sleeping pad and um, yeah like a pillow and all that and blankets and we can leave a backpack like some kind of bug out bag like a small backpack with overnight gear and if we go on a hike like this we can just take the backpack put something to drink and to eat in there and then just go for it and yeah so basically we have all that we need with us but i i'm i sh i have to put up the mattress or like fold it together the mattress the sleeping bag then like uh yeah take out the bed from the car to get the big backpack and then load everything and then just hike here again and i guess i'm too lazy or more like too exhausted to do that today so yeah that will be a big plus in the future with our own little camper and um yeah it's such an amazing adventure on which we are here right now and I'm so looking forward to come here again. We're about halfway in our trip now. So we are tomorrow, no, no, today, today. Today we are like two weeks into our trip and we have like two weeks left. So it's um, half time. And yeah, we learned so much from it right now and yeah, it's, it was such an amazing day today. We had uh, the sleepover at this beautiful lake. We stayed on this beautiful river where we had some coffee. Then we went on the icy roads across the mountain tops where we saw reindeers and snow and everything. And now we found this amazing grotto and even went cave exploring today and this was just a single day it's it's so amazing and yeah i just see the battery is having 20 seconds left so it's it's such an amazing lucien come here Tuck. lucien one stop stop
Hey, 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 hey. 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 Hey.